Hi guys, this is Tom from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here to give you a tutorial on how to set up real flight with a WS-1000 and a Spectrum radio like our DX8E here. The WS-1000 is a wireless module. You can plug it into a USB port and you bind it to your radio. Your computer will recognize it as a game controller, essentially, and it works with Real Flight 8 really well. So, first thing you do is bind it to your radio and to do that there's this bind button on the top here. Find a USB port on your computer, hold the button and plug it in. Starts blinking like a receiver would. And with our radio, we hold the button, turn it on, or just go to bind mode. Whatever radio you have will have different options for binding. And we're bound up. So one thing that I like to do right when I get this plugged in on my computer is check to see if my controls are working properly. An easy way, if you have um, Windows 10, is just type in controller, and it says set up USB game controller. We can go to properties and it shows all of our accesses. So if these are moving around or if they're not quite center when you're moving your sticks, you can calibrate by hitting here and hitting calibrate. We're not gonna go through that. It's really simple, it walks you through it. But here's something that you can test. If you plug it in and things aren't quite working right, you can calibrate it here. So we're good here. And Real Flight 8, which I already have installed. You can get Real Flight 8 on Steam, you can get it from our website and get it like an actual disc version. Um, there's other ways to get it digitally, but uh, we've, I've got it right from Steam, which works really well. Like mine, you won't have the bar at the top. You can press the Alt key to make it appear. If it is at the top, you're looking for simulation. And we're gonna go down to select controller. You're gonna have a number of different options here. So you can use gamepad, or, like I did, is I created a new one. And that's easy enough if you hit edit. And you'll see all your controls here. This is where you will assign different controls. So let's say we move our throttle stick and it's assigned to a different channel. If we look here, the throttle, when we move it, it's the Y axis, which I have on throttle. But if that said something else, you'd want to set that to throttle. And then our aileron is the Z axis, we'd want to set that to aileron. Elevator is the X rotation, you set that to elevator. And rudder, which is the X axis, we want to set that to rudder. So there's gonna be a drop down here that you'll want to change for each of those. And so I set mine up, if you click save as, or tap save as, that's how I wrote in WS1000. That'll add a new setup to this drop down that we saw. On, with a Spectrum radio, you will have to reverse a couple channels. I had to reverse the aileron, the Z-axis, and the rudder, the X-axis. So just keep that in mind. If something's backwards, you hit reverse here. And if you need to, you can calibrate it. Done with a blank model on your dx 80 or Spectrum radio, you can adjust things to set up for buttons to do different things if you'd like. I'm gonna do here just to show you guys how to do this is how to set up a reset. So by default, you won't have that, but you can adjust and edit the controls to make it so that you can reset the, you know, the model. So when you crash, you flip a switch on your radio and it resets and goes back to its you know, takeoff position. So let's find a switch that we're not using. Here we go. We'll set this, which is working with my A switch or my gear switch to reset here, and that should do it, and we'll hit save, hit close, okay, throttle up a little bit, and I flip the switch and she reset, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that's how you set up Real Flight 8 with a WS-1000 and your Spectrum radio. So the WS-1000 is a wireless gamepad adapter for your Spectrum radio and it works with Real Flight 8. It also works with a lot of other simulators like Liftoff, DRL, but we're real more interested with Real Flight 8 on this one. So if you guys are interested in Real Flight 8, now's a great time to get it for your Spectrum radio and grab a WS-1000. Works really well. Thanks.